So the question from the video on the cell phone was was whether the decision uh, to go was tone deaf. Look, it, it was obviously a mistake, and in hindsight, I, did, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I was trying to be a dad, and and all of us have made decisions. When you've got two girls who've been cold for two two days and haven't had heater power, and they're saying, "Hey, look, we don't have school. Why don't we go? Let's get out of here." I, I think there are a lot of parents that'd be like, "All right, let me. If I can do this, great. That's what I wanted to do." Um, as I said, really from. The moment I sat on the plane, I, I, I began really second-guessing that decision and saying, look, I, I know why we're doing this, but, but I've also got responsibilities. And, and, and it had been my intention uh, to be able to, to work remotely, to be on the phone, to be on Internet, to be on Zoom, to be engaged. But I needed to be here. And, and, and that's why I came back. And then as it became a bigger and bigger firestorm, uh, it became all the more compelling. Uh, that I needed to come back because our priority should be fixing this problem and making sure it doesn't happen again. And, and I didn't want all the screaming and yelling uh, about this trip to distract even one moment from the real issues that I think Texans care about, which is, which is keeping all of our families safe. Oh, sure. Of, co of course I understand why people are upset. Um, Listen, we're in, in a strange time where, where Twitter's been going crazy and the media's going crazy, and there's a lot of venom and vitriol that I think is unfortunate, frankly, on both sides. I, th I think er everyone ought to treat each other with respect and, and, and decency and try to understand each other more.